All right, everybody. So, welcome to a new game. I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm just going to call it Air Memories of Old. So, new game, totally different than I've something I've ever played before. This is kind of kind of fun. Uh, I did a, I played a little bit of the intro to make sure that it worked, but <clears throat> the reason why I found this and thought about playing it back when I played Far Lone Sales, uh, I looked for other games that that developer had made. Which there wasn't any, but it... Again, I don't know if it's the publisher that... Helped with the development team that made Far Loan Sales or whatever it is. But for whatever reason, Far Loan Sales and two other games are available in a group. Like a bundle. And this is one of them. And it looked interesting and kind of in that chill... But also like exploring puzzle solve vibe that uh, Far Loan Sales had. Only in 3D instead of a side-scroller. So, I got it. And I like the art style. It's very pretty. So, yeah, we're going we're gonna to start this over. <clears throat> so, we're going we're gonna to play it. Again, it's, it's pretty short. I've read that it's about three hours max. That's excluding... Well, we'll, we'll get into it. We'll, we can get into more of it. So, there, there's, a, there's a story to this as well, which is kind of fun. Uh, hmm. I'm going to call her Auk. Auk, listen. I know you are eager to explore, but the pilgrimage is important to the people of the sky. As you know, in the early days before the Great Divide, the lands were very different from now. Instead of islands in the sky, the lands were one, and the ancients inhabited the world. They built great structures, among them three temples here in the Land of Gods. Your journey will lead you to all three of them. But something changed. The ancients somehow caused the Great Divide, shattering the lands, and left us with the islands in the sky. The priestess Kara, that's what we're going to call her, prayed by the lighthouse and found answers that helped our people survive the great cataclysm. The first stop for every pilgrim is to visit Kara's shrine. So go on in, Ankh. I will wait for you outside. Ooh. Little loud. So I love this art style. It was the first thing that it was like... It's not super high detail. It's like the details are in how it looks and the way things move and interact. Not the fact like she doesn't necessarily have detail features in her face or anything like that. But I, I really like it. So we're going to go explore and kind of have a good chill time with it. I will say my first attempt at playing through the intro, a platform didn't load. Or at least the hitbox of the platform didn't load. And I had to restart. So <laughs> hopefully that doesn't happen again. I do like the slight little bounce to her hair, like their hair hairstyle. Whoever, like, Ock? Ock? I don't know how to say her name. Ook? Uh, oh yeah, there's these tablets that are around. This tablet is really worn, as part of the text is unreadable. In the land of gods, there were three, and three houses slumbering in eternal skies. I'm assuming there's an achievement based on finding all those. So I could jump to here, and then this platform didn't exist. Hey, good, the platform worked this time. <laughs> also, the mushrooms make these squishy noises when you run over them. <laughs> it's squishy, but it's oddly satisfying to run through them. Alright, let's see. I didn't fully read these when I came through, I just know that they were here. Let's see. The memory of light in our heart shining with the name of Kara. Her lantern guided and protected us when the world scattered and we became the people of the sky. I wonder how long ago this event happened. Also, I apologize if it's a little like quick. The sensitivity was really, really low, and I've had I've tried to adjust it because I want to be able to enjoy playing this, and I prefer having a higher sensitivity. Um, so I apologize if it's a little much, but I prefer higher sensitivity. Also, I think this is like a fox. It's got like two tails, though. <gasps> it's tails. <laughs> oh yeah, should I go down here? You know what? I kind of want to explore. I did this same thing with um, Far Loan Sales. It was fun to explore things. So obviously this is in case you fall, but there really isn't a reason to fall. Hmm. Okay. I love the music too. It's just subtle, but really nice. I'll let you guys know when I, we get to the point where I stopped. 
Because there's definitely one of those things that you have to check and make sure things work before you start making... Or I've learned that you should do that. Make sure things work before you start doing a video. Oh, here's another one of these things. Enter the Hall of Memory. Uh, where sleeps the Light of Kara? It never went out while she was alive. Ask and maybe it will shine forth to answer you. Okay, so Kara has passed. So I'm assuming this civilization, these people have been here a while. Also, her outfit, this style is like super cool. She's got like this like scarf shawl thing on her left, but it's also on, on her left arm, but it's also on her right leg. This is really pretty. All right. The tattoos on her arm are really cool too. Got some incense. Oh, I never noticed the metal rings on the bottom of her, like, thing hanging off of her, her waist on her right-hand side. That's cool. So the lantern is lit. We now have it. it lit for us. Right. The darkness. The smoggy darkness. Oh no, the letter V. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. So yeah, this light lets you see that all these are spirits, I guess. <clears throat> I have yet to learn if that's entirely, it's what they seem like they are. I'm not sure if it's like recently departed or if it's, they're just spirits that have always been there. Ooh, yeah, that's right. Then we just fall down here. So, something happened. I'm not entirely sure what. <laughs> oh. I hope these lanterns will burn long enough to guide the young pilgrim. I don't know if... That was another thing I was thinking. I don't know if they can... They know that I can see them now, you know? Because of the lantern. I'm not sure how much their interactions are with the... Normal world living world all right so just outside this area is where I got to there's an old man out here we talked to him and that is the extent of my uh, knowledge uh, I experimented with the mechanic they gave you right here after this but that is it so and this game gets even more pretty as we step out of the cave hello mm. Ock, you made it out okay. Thank the gods. You're all right. You... What happened in there? Uh, I thought the worst when the cave collapsed. Is that the lantern? Hmm, strange. That lantern is an ancient artifact called uh, Kara's Light. Somehow it shines for you. It's the first time in generations. Keep it safe for now. I'll stay here to investigate the shrine. Meanwhile, you should continue your pilgrimage. There's a village over by the lighthouse. Just follow the kites to get there. Talk to Diana when you arrive. She will tell you where to go next. All right, let's put the line turn away. We do not need that now. Look how pretty this is. Oh, yeah. So you can still see there's some spirits here that are uh, around. Because some of them are crying. Some of them are praying. I'm just not sure. We haven't really learned what they are yet. Oh, hi. I didn't see you guys last time. Hmm. Ooh, map. Map. Hey, map! Ooh, lots of map. Can I zoom? No, I can drag, though. Alright. Good to know. Alright, cool. Well. Is there someone here? Oh, hi. Oh, hello. Alright, well. So this was the mechanic you would get to mess with, because the only way to traverse things, and I guess this is just part of who they are, is you can be a bird! Bird! <laughs> Ooh, it's also the mechanics for flying are really interesting. Um, the, uh, oh yeah, I can just free look with the mouse. And then when I want to, I can hit shift and it'll reset the camera. So it's interesting 
you're not, it's not like a look to fly kind of thing. It's, Wazda controls the bird, which is interesting. It's a little, little strange. Wee! It's very fun. I was messing around with this. This is all I was doing before I stopped last time. <laughs> So yeah, this is as far as I got. I went back here to go explore. There really wasn't anything back here. So I was like, all right, we'll move on. So it's so pretty though. Like for something that's focusing on, like puts less of a focus on having very high detailed graphics and smooth areas. It's beautiful. And I really like the style. Woo! -hoo -hoo. <laughs> all right, cool. Well, let's go over here. I think that's awesome. I love the, the look and that mechanic. Very chill. Very calm. Whoop. Slide down the tree. Hello. Whoop, 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 whoop. Hmm. Not sure what that is. Well, it said follow the kites. Should I just follow the kites and we'll figure out everything else from, like, later? There we go. So pretty! Wow. This is obviously where we need to go. Whoosh. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, let's see what's uh, what's going on. I got some tents. No, can't go in there. This is so pretty. Like the sim, it's just simplistic and pretty. It's just, man. Just its simplicity is what's awesome. Hey. Hello. Oh, hi. Hello, Ankh, and welcome. What was the noise we heard? What? You made it out okay. I'm John, by the way. Diana and I take care of the lighthouse here on the island. We try to make sure that nothing weird happens in the land of gods. Not an easy job considering all the strange old ruins and wonders here. Uh, I haven't had much time to visit since Aaron was born, but I don't mind. I think she longs for adventure, which makes her father proud. If you have the time, I would recommend uh, you go to the Wingsong Falls. When the world was whole, a water spirit combined her hair, let's see, combed her hair, combined, combed her hair at the stream there. Beautiful hair at that. The wind sang to make her hair flow down until it mixed with the clouds, thus the, the, thus the rainbow was born. Not that I've ever seen one there myself, but it's a nice story. Anyway, you can find the place just north of here. Continue beyond the clouds. You've never seen a rainbow? That's so sad! Wait, where's north? That's north. Okay. Good to know. Look at this little village. It's so cute. This is actually really cool. They did a really good job with the colors and how they use them, because some of them are a lot more vibrant, some of them are more pastel, but I think it's a good, a good mix. Oh, so is this the daughter he was talking about? Hello. Ah, oh, oh, that's your name, right? Uh, what happened? Did you see any ghosts or spirit animals, treasures or secrets? To be honest, not much. I saw some tablets. Uh, I want to explore too. It's so unfair that I'm stuck on this island. Sometimes I go on adventures with my parents, but it's still adventures. Uh, we once went to a super awesome place. It's up north. It's kind of snowy. With this huge statue, it's kind of broken, but still. Uh, and my name is Aaron, so you know. Well, nice to meet you, Aaron. Mm. I can't even see you. It's like, oh, uh, are you all right, Ankh? It was Ankh, right? I don't think... Uh, is Ankh good? Ankh? Ankh? Is Ankh a good name? Should I... Or is that, uh, I don't know if I like Ankh. I guess we'll stick with Ankh. No, but hey, hey, ah, I'll think about it. Uh, we heard rumblings from Kara's Shrine. I'm glad you made it out. My name is Diana. All right, bye, sheep. 
Um, uh, I was, let's see, and welcome. It was a long time ago we had a pilgrim here. Your mentor, Med, Med, Medvin, was actually the last one before you. My parents helped me back then. Let's see. Or my parents helped him back then. Now I, John, now I, John, and our daughter, Erin, will help you. Okay, thanks. I can read sometimes. If you are ever, if you ever feel lost, just return here and talk to us. We will guide you after all. We are here to guide you after all. Every Pokemon's journey requires a visit to the three temples in the lands of the gods. Kara sealed them a long time ago, right before the Great Divide. There's a sigil in the ground close to each temple. That's where you gather to pay respects to the spirits, and so you too should go there. Sacred worlds are revealed to those who approach with an open mind. Uh, the Eventide Sanctuary is closest, and you will find it northwest of here. Ooh, that was... Okay, that was a cool little departing, spinny, floaty dance. These are all very pretty, by the way. I like the little butterflies. They're simplistic, but they're pretty. Oh, hey, we saw this. The two tails. It's Tails from Sonic. That's what it is. Okay, so it looks like we've got this dude, which is a crane. The two-tailed fox. All right. Well, what's up here? So we know there's something uh, north through the clouds, but what is over here? Ooh, there's a boat. Right. Oh, sorry. I didn't really mean to do that, but I guess we can shortcut some stuff, right? <laughs> Woof. What's in here? Oh. I didn't really mean to do that, but we'll go check it out, I guess. Why not? Hi. I kind of wanted to explore out there more, but that's okay. Oh. Pilgrim study. I can't read this written. It's written in a language I don't know. Much of it is broken and almost unreadable anyway. Maybe Mendiv... Medvin knows how to decipher it. Okay. Looks like I probably can't read any of these. Yeah. Okay. I wonder what the difference was with those ones in the cave we saw earlier. <gasps> Fishies! Hello! Oh my gosh, I got some serious, like, Magikarp Garp vibes from that. <laughs> from Pokemon Snap. <laughs> okay. So that's probably some sort of information hub. That Medvin will show up in, probably. I'm assuming that will be a thing that happens. Ooh, okay. We're on the other side, I'm assuming. Just It's just kind of a mountain. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. I got too excited about all the baby birdies. Look at them. They're so cute, and there are lots of different colors. Look at the baby sheeps. What? Oh. No, wait. You need to go back to your mama. I'm not your mama. Go back to your mama. I am not your mama. Mama, wait. <laughs> Take the babies back. I'm a bird, I'm not a sheep! <laughs> Alright, so... Are these, like, save points, maybe? Like, yes, go back to Mama. I don't want to be responsible for... <laughs> it's too much too soon. <laughs> Bye, birdies. Bye, birdies. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, that's cool! Can I crouch? No, I can't crouch. There really isn't a lot of buttons for this, uh... So far. Maybe there's a few more things. No idea. Wow. Oh, is there something? There's a shrine or something up here? Oh, birdies! Alright. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. So this loops around and connects to there. Alright. We gotta explore. We gotta find out what's going on. Let's go up on top of this, uh... Alright. The controls are for flying is a little finicky. I should probably try to keep pushing shift as soon as I fly. That might help. Oh, god. Every time I see flowers now, I'm just like, Animal Crossing? Where's my shovel? Can I, I need to move them. 
any of you who happen to see this that have been watching my Animal Crossing videos, there will be another one soon. Um, we are getting there. Ooh, examine. This must be the lighthouse. It doesn't seem to do anything right now. I should come back here later. Okay. Ooh. What does that mean when she does that little spin? It's a cool little animation. All right, well, they said we could go north through the clouds, or we could go explore, which I am... Well, maybe we should kind of follow the progression of this. I mean, I'm assuming it's a very free roam type of game, but I think... Oh, boy. Shift. Let's go north. So it said through the clouds. There we go. Oh, okay. Oh, look at that. Whoa, that was cool animation. <laughs> we oh one song falls oh okay okay well he did say that it's not like that was should have been a surprise or anything but okay Ooh, there's a bunnies well they're high nice, nice, bunnies some rabbits. To be honest, I don't know if there's anything really on these islands other than um, just like random stuff to explore. I just don't know. So I was gonna mention this, totally forgot. Remember now, uh, this is this very much has a lot of Skyward Sword vibes, obviously. <laughs> Pretty cool, actually. Not gonna lie. Whee! Oh! Woo! What's this? Okay. But yeah, definitely, like, the Sky Islands and Skyward Sword and <laughs> having the bird to fly around and those those boost areas to make it go faster. Oh! Is that a fish? Or like a walrus or something? I, or seal? Alright, that's a sun. Oh! Oh, cool! Wait, wait, wait. Can I get, like, a boost off of that? Let's try it. Oh, no, not really. Okay, well, that's alright. Interesting. All right, so there's that. There's the moon. We gotta go find the moon. Is it down here? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. You know, for for a game that has a lot of spread out stuff, it still feels like you can get around pretty quickly. Like it doesn't take long to traverse these big open areas of the sky, which is cool. Who's, who's here? Who's chilling? Who be chilling? Oh, hey! These great lakes are the domain of the water spirit. The f uh, spirit fish of the land of gods. Okay. That would explain kind of what we saw. How big is this area? I feel like we're missing something. Ooh, what's over there? Doesn't look, that, doesn't look like there's much over on that island. Ooh, it almost shot me off. Woohoo! I don't know what these are. Hmm. I 
I will say just from like a game development standpoint, this is like pretty flushed out and clean for something. Um. Oh, did I really not notice that? Whoops. <laughs> That's obviously where the other one is. I totally bypassed that. Whoa, we're going so fast. Incoming. <laughs> Water landing. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's take out the lantern. And this is the moon shape. Right? Yep. Oh, okay. Ooh. More people praying. Off we go! Oh, I didn't realize our speed would get so fast after just a few flaps. <laughs> Can I fly into this or do I need to land? <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> okay. In the vault. Ooh, I love the particle effects. That's so pretty. The light design of this is awesome. I mean, it's it's something that's, you know, just... It looks really pretty. I'm going to keep saying that because it is, all right? <laughs> oh! Well, what do we need to do? Maybe put both of those together. Oh, I should probably go look at what these are, right? That's probably what they are. Oh, so what is it? The half of the moon and half the sun? Maybe? Oh, that's probably what it is. Okay, that makes sense. Let's see. Oh, other way. Let's go this way. My assumption is that it's this and the half of the moon. Aha, I was right. I like those kind of puzzles. <laughs> a flame. What is this? Oh, key. This is a key. Oh yeah, also it was something I didn't notice until a little bit into my first attempt at this. They've only got four fingers on their hands. It's kind of interesting. So I absorbed the power of that key, I guess? Oh, I can't fly inside. I mean, it makes sense. Oh, the music just stopped. This is a, this is a weird thing to compliment, but the speed of the character because there's no sprint the speed of the character is actually a good whoa, balance if i remember to talk about that again we will what are you hello little wanderer you took your time were you perhaps led astray or just following by or followed by the slow one i think his name is uh medvin slow as few shifters i've met but sharp, intelligent. Do you know what uh, it is you found? You hold both light and key to lead you into twilight, both dusk and dawn, I believe. Southwest of here, there is a temple, the silhouette of the setting sun. You will find more answers there. Go now, bird faster than Mar Med Medvin. <laughs> Secrets await you in the deep. Seek counsel from the ones who slumber. You are... That's pretty cool. It's like... If you were to take... An evolution of Eevee... And... Vulpix. So take a few tails off of Vulpix or Ninetales. And... Well, I guess it's actually more just like Vulpix with... Or Ninetales with less tails. I don't remember which way he said to go. Was it this way? I think it was this way. Ooh, let's go over there, yeah. 
I guarantee there's going to be stuff that I've, I'm going to miss, like achievement-wise, because there's little things probably on a lot of these islands that I may or may not catch, so... I can always come back to them later if I really need to. Ooh, what's down here? Ooh, there are things to explore! Yes! Woohoo! Into the lake! Twilight Lake! Ooh. Ah! Oops, wrong thing. You're not happy with this thing. Read. My brother stayed to guard the lighthouse, and I volunteered to join him join him in his duty. I shall guard the land and its animals, even if I do not understand why the uh, priestess wants us to stand guard. Are the gods truly sleeping this land, and, and we are to guard them? But why, then, are they asleep? Can gods even sleep? I think this is just a story for children. The gods are long gone from our world, and their lands now belong to the spirits and animals, but names stay longer than the memory of a face. Interesting. Alright. I don't think they have any power... I don't think they have any power left. Okay, interesting. Oh! Okay, we're looking for a deer and another platform that activates some magic. What's up here? Whoa, there we go. This seems kind of important. Maybe not. But yeah, uh, I remembered, so huh, I can finish my thought. I was saying that with the character design, their speed, even though there's no sprint functionality with the character, is a good balance between fast, but not like a slow stroll. You can still get around pretty quick without needing to transform into the bird to fly just a few feet, you know, if you want to make a little more distance. So I appreciate that in the design. Whee! Oh, there's someone here! Wait! Hi, bird! Hi! You're not running away from me. That's interesting. There's someone up here. Hello! Looks like an old campsite over there. wonder if there's something interesting left behind. Wait, what do you mean? Like, over here, or...? Maybe? Ooh. Whoop, uh-oh. Back up, back up! <laughs> okay, so this is the thing. There are occasionally... I noticed this when I flew behind the entrance, when we got out of the, or the exit to the cave. There are occasionally just dead animals laying around, which is weird. I'm a little confused by it. He said there was a campsite? Campground somewhere? What were you talking about, dude? You made it seem like it was over. Maybe it's over there. Let's go look. So I'm not sure. There's There may be something else going on where we need to help the land heal or something. I don't know. Hello. Hmm. We This flying is very fun. The controls might be a little a little bit janky. Uh but that's okay. It's it's manageable. It's not like I'm struggling to deal with it. Ooh. Oh, do you see that? She like negates fall damage with a little wind gust. That's very cool. Alright, well what is this? Does that mean I can find something over here or is that just a thing? Hmm. This is so pretty. It's just fun to explore. <laughs> I like that part of it very, very much. Is 
Yeah. Oh, the rocks. The spear, the rocks shooting out of the ground. Some of the creatures have been speared by the rocks. That makes sense. Hi. You are red. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, well, there's a couple of you that are red. All right. All right, what we got going on here? What's this? That self-proclaimed god reaches too far. I hope he stretches himself too thin. What are you talking about? Okay. Is there something on top of this I need to look at? Oh, look! It's a sheep with uh, horns. Hello. Baby sheep! <laughs> or baby goat or lamb or whatever. All right. Um, now what? Let's see. No, there's nothing there. I was really expecting there to be something there. Oh, was there people down there? Oh, no, this is a different thing. Let's go check it out. Hi. The river, it has fallen. What of the spirit fish? Is she safe? Oh, interesting. So the river was here. Hmm. All right. Well... It looks like we need to go over there. I'm having fun exploring, but let's, uh, let's, you know, start making some more progress. They really designed this flying thing. Ooh, really well. Here's the campsite that I was talking about. Even when you're flying, it's easy to kind of spot stuff without having to move the camera around. Well, this doesn't look good. What happened? I am Yo... Yo... Yohal? Yohal? of the Southern Islands. This is my third and final record of my travels in the Land of Gods. I happened upon the fox just as I was about to leave for home. He sat in the middle of the road and seemed to laugh slightly as if to some hidden joke. I spoke in anger. My people are dying. Why is this happening? His smile seemed sad. The darkness within called to the darkness without. Heal your people to be healed. This is not your path, you, you all. I did not know what to say and stared at him as he left. Later I realized he was right. It is not my path, but one for my whole people. As I passed the Twilight Lake, I was met uh, I met with Kara for the first time. She showed me the Eventide Sanctuary and asked me to gather everyone I knew. This is the refuge we had hoped for. I will journey home again. I will guide my people there. I will see my only child, Rhea, again, and I hope and I will bring her hope. Ooh, so did something happen when they went to the Twilight Sanctuary thing? Doesn't sound good. Hmm. Ooh, this is cool. This is so pretty looking. This turn of Oh, I love it. Okay, we gotta, okay so people are walking here. Oh, I didn't need to go... Okay. I thought maybe I would have had to do so. Oh, this is the key that opens... Oh, smart brain. Should have noticed the symbol that were... It was the symbol of the key. Ooh. Oh, this looks like there's children here, too. Oh, dang. Oh, go! <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I meant to put the flashlight away. <laughs> Either we will spawn on the stairs or we will spawn falling. Thankfully, we don't have fall damage. Oh, okay. It spawned me down here. Thank you. <laughs> oh. We made it. Something doesn't seem right. Also, I just noticed you can, like, see their skeletons inside their spirits, which is interesting. We will be safe here. Whoa. So what happened? It sounded like something bad happened. Okay. So the ruins were here. Okay. They're climbing. So that's a neat way to show a player how, where to go. I like it. Kind of cool. Hey, another tablet. The Twilight Guardian opened her eyes at the light of sun and moon shining together. 
She sat down and calmly took both in her sky hands, bringing balance to light and shadow. With her right hand, she releases the sun to let the people to let people back from the dream. With her left, she flings the moon into the night sky so that people may dream so that people may dream at all. Uh, she is the heartbeat of the seasons, at the center of the world, the breath of life and order. Uh, the wording there was a little funky, but alright. Anything over here? Ooh, you startled me with the plant sounds. <laughs> I was like, oh, you what? <laughs> and it actually does work as a lantern. I need to keep that in mind. It's not just for seeing spirits and activating things. Ooh. A banner. Okay. Another spirit up there. Fishies! Hello! Ooh, another. Oh, was that a person or is that. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's another oh, spirit, I guess. Big mushroom! What, oh, do I need to go? Must be activated by life force? Detection of a living being? Maybe a sentient being? That'd probably be more of a thing. It would be detecting detecting intelligence. I have no idea. What is this? Bosses Das. Ah, okay. I don't know if this is pertinent to solving the mystery, but it... I opened a thing! <laughs> Wait, no! Ah! Oh good, I can jump. I, I've got some jump! <laughs> Which makes sense, because... It's almost like I'm kind of a... Airbender person. Got some airbending abilities. It's pretty cool. I'm down for that. that right now. Boy, this whole thing is just very broken and floaty. I do like that animation for the water falling and stuff. It's simplistic. It's cool. I like it. Mushroom. Too bad. It's like not power mushroom. Ooh, the drips. This place is huge, so I hope I'm going the right direction. Oh, this looks very important. Okay, so I obviously need to go in there. Ooh. All right, well, I can't use this for whatever reason. Can I use this? Where I saw a rat. I really need some meat. Did they starve? I guess unless you're really into mushrooms, that would be a problem. What happened? Hmm. Just keep exploring. See what we can find. Oh, more people. Oh, that's not good. So wait, are these more like s spirits frozen in time? Kind of thing? Or did something else happen? Fishies! Hi. Ooh. Oh! Oh, that's the sun. What's that? Oh, that's a rat! 
Oh, hey. Hi, little dude. We have another puzzle on our hands. <laughs> oh! Wait. Wait. Hey! Okay, I got it! Boy, I'm glad that didn't take me forever, because that would have been fun. I didn't even get to look at this last one. I didn't even look at two of them, technically. Alright, cool, cool. Cool, I'm down. Anything down here? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Frog! Hello! It doesn't seem like it punishes me or makes it slower to navigate if I have the torch out. Or the lantern out. So I guess we'll just keep it out for now. It is occasionally fairly dark, so I guess we'll keep it out for now. Ooh, it's so pretty! Oh! Hey, alright, cool, cool, cool. I like these. They're not overly complex. <laughs> Again, that may change. I'm okay with that. Aha! Oh, and that turns this. Oh, wait, what about that thing, though? How am I supposed to get that one? Oh, wait! Wait! Hmm. Oh! Floating platform parkour. It's a very floaty jump. That would be the best way to describe it. A very floaty jump, but it's a good thing. <laughs> it does make traversing this much uh, easier, a lot less stressful. Oh, good, we're in the sewers. <laughs> Oh, you know what? This is going to spit us out right here, isn't it? Ah ha ha! It's going to spin it back and it'll extend the bridge this time, right? Yeah! This is so nice. Oh yeah, lowering the bridge. A lot of uh, theming around the sun and the moon. Ooh, experiments, science, science. Oh nope, this is a tomb. Never mind, not science. <laughs> Sorry. The god spoke to me not in words, but in memories and feelings. He warned me of a terrible greed from beyond a void in the hearts of men. As he showed it to me, I felt it stir and come between us, darkening the golden steps like a storm cloud, cold as eternity. Terrified, I cried out at the pull of this dark void, and I woke. I could not speak for three days, but I set out to the ancient temples immediately. If what I've seen is true, the gods are alive, and they need our help, as we need theirs. Okay. I am Kara, the th uh, of the Thunder Islands. 
uh, I had a strange dream that I will record here so that so that others may perhaps understand its meaning as I did. I had come to study the holy carvings in the lighthouse in the land of gods, trying to understand their heritage or our heritage. As I reached out to touch some of the runes, I suddenly felt as if a warm hand passed over my eyes and I fell asleep on the sacred stone. Uh, in my dream, it seemed to me that the stone underneath me glowed from within, forming a staircase up into the starry sky. Far away on these steps, a golden light grew and drew close. Stars flew from the sky and became stronger, or, and became someone who had the, sh the shape of music. Let's wait. Who had the shape of music and was gentle and sad. Oh, that was part one. This was part two. I probably should have read the prompt underneath, but that's okay. We get the gist. Something happened. The greed of men. Interesting. Hello? I don't know where I'm going. Man has paws that cannot run, but chases longingly the sun. Man has wings that cannot fly, but he will always seek the sky. Man has eyes that cannot see, but watch eternity. Man is lost unknowingly in danger to his own mind, always a stranger. Okay. Ooh, hey, it's this area. We're back over here now. Okay. Is that, oh, there's, oh, there's a little tent up here. Okay. All right, well, I don't know if I necessarily needed to go back, but I guess I can walk back there if I want to. Let's go over here to the left thing, because it seems like that's a way forward. Ah, there's something here. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Now the real question is, do these items, or these buttons that we hear these players to unlock that exist nearby? Are we going to have to go way, 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 way back? Or what's the dealio? Um, looks like we're going to have to do a little parkour to get some of them. Ah, uh, there's another. Which one is that? Top right? Ah, I guessed right. So there's another one right there, and I'm assuming the last one is up top over here. Self-contained puzzles. I greatly appreciate self-contained puzzles. <laughs> they make me much less stressed. Oh, there is... Oh, it's up there. Maybe that one actually opens the door once those are all filled in. Possible. Just kidding, there's five. I did not see the one at the top. Just kidding. Uh, there we go. That's probably top left. Yep. Okay. Can we... Oh, yeah, we can do that. Woohoo! I missed! It's all good. Alley -oop. I can I can I can jump. <laughs> Alright. What's behind door number I've opened a lot of doors now. What's behind the door? Hi birdies. Oh you know what those remind me of I just thought of it. The uh bird beat me in there. Uh, the birds from Super Mario Sunshine, because there is the green birds that give you one coin, the red birds that are give you red coins for that one area, and the blue ones that give you blue coins, and the yellow ones that give you a shine. Kind of fun. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's another bridge. Okay. Oh. Opened this. Understanding. Whoa. All right. I'm down. That's really cool. <laughs> That's really cool. 
Hi! Why is it always entities with giant hands? And energy inside their hands. Okay. Hi. Come here, little bird. You are really cool, but kind of scary. A very long time ago, your people addressed me as the Twilight Guardian. Sitting at the border of Dusk and Dawn, ensuring safe travel on the past of the lands of dreams and back again. Even after the Great Divide, I was there, watching as your priestess Kara led her people to safe shores here in my temple. A long, uh, a long time have I waited for this moment to come. I have grown weak, but for the power I was lent. Uh, weak, but for the power I was lent, tethering me to your world. Listen carefully, little bird. Once again, the void has has awakened. It's awakened. With great hunger, this time to devour all that is left in our, uh, of our world. But there is still a chance to stop him. The priestess Kara hid three fragments of great power, one in each temple. You have to make the three fragments one again. I will give you the part I was given for safekeeping. Without it, I will fade into oblivion. It has been my link to this world since the time the gods were lost to the minds of men. But we cannot wait. Please accept my fragment and finish what was started so long ago. Okay. We're making the Twilight Mirror <laughs> from Twilight Princess. <laughs> Interesting. We're floating! Uh. Hi, V. What's up? You scary. Well, that was mildly terrifying. Okay. So that was the first, that was the Eventide Sanctuary. I just got an achievement for it. Interesting. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to like piece together what that entity just said. Huh. Oh, no. Oh, no. The darkness. This wasn't here before. Oh. That's so cool. Okay. Well, we've been playing for about an hour. And since this is about a three-hour game, I think we're going to stop here. Assuming I get it done in that amount of time. We'll find out. But, yeah, we'll pick this up, uh, this up here. I enjoy these little, these shorter games. I don't know if you necessarily call it an indie. Maybe it's an indie game. I don't know. <laughs> I like this, though. This is really neat. I love the art style. The story's interesting and the mechanics aren't so complex that it's frustrating, but still enough of a little puzzle that it's it's fun to go through. That's a cool little animation that uh, they have her do when she's just standing still. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next part. Bye.